We now return to stand-up specials from comedians you've been told to like. Please welcome Aziz Ansari. What's up, y'all? Sometimes I start a sentence really soft and then get loud. <laughs> He's hilarious because I saw him in the show. Twitter's only three years ago. Check mine out. I've got 10,000 followers. I feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. Who's Adele? Just keep reading. Hey, short guys, the more muscular you get, the shorter you look. Did you not know that? Well, that one seems a little mean. Just give me the phone. I don't know. That'll get it started. Where the hell's Peter? I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. Uh, I can't even remember why I... These springs are shot, and it's all damp over here. Are, they... are these mushrooms? That's where Smurfs is. Or, ah, it Smurfs. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show, Archer? You watch that show, Archer? Here's that guy, Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show, Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. Next up, let's keep it going for Brian Griffin. And hey, short guys, the more muscular you get, the shorter you look. Did you not know that? <laughs> wow, this is easier than getting your jet ski license. All right, Kyle, looking good. You got 100% on your written test, 100% on your water test. Just one last question. Have you ever had a fist fight with your stepdad? Which stepdad? I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! Look around and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I have one. What percentage of Hayden Panettiere is dwarf? Well, you're the expert. Well, it seems good, but I won't know for sure until I have my evening tug. I think we like this one. What, what's it called? Deep Slumber 3000. You're buying it on Amazon, aren't you? Yep, they have drones now. Oh, come on, Peter. We gotta beat the drone to the house. Real stores suck! It's everywhere! <laughs> Hey, Stewie, you got a second? I have nothing to say to you, Brian. Besides, I'm busy playing with my new friend. What new friend? Is this dog bothering you, Stewie? Well, didn't know we'd have to hear the whole song. You built a robot? This is pathetic, Stewie. You really must be desperate for friends. Oh, I'm desperate. Lyle, access Brian's phone. <laughs> Look at that, you only have four contacts. And, oh my God, you downloaded the Dunkin' Donuts app? Expensive, and I'd like to keep it nice for a little while. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know. Let, let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? Come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! I'm going to bed. Yeah. Oh, Lyle, I'm so glad I have you as a friend. Now I can do fun things like get on your shoulders and wear a trench coat and be tall enough to ride roller coasters. Hello, fellow adult. I am clearly above the minimum height requirement and shall now ride... Silly thing. Thank you, Stewie. I drew you something as well. It's an urban plan for a workable Palestinian state. My word, this is very impressive. The credit is yours, Stewie. It was you who programmed me to grow exponentially smarter. Ah, I suppose you're right. As Khalil Gilbane wrote in The Prophet, I am the bow from which the arrow of you... Boy, that was one trip to the lake we're not gonna forget. Shut the hell up, will you, Joe? Jeez, what's your problem, Peter? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I guess I'm just a little on edge. I'm not getting any from Lois. Is it because Lois is going through the change? Donna's getting a tiny mustache. I told her it felt like I was kissing Ernie Hudson. That turned out to be a mistake. Hey, remember how you borrowed my club card for the grocery store? Could you toss that up to me? Oh, you don't have to have the card. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> have fun, you kids.
I must ask you to leave. No, he must Asperger you to leave. Ho ho, you've been Ted Ard. That was mean, but I like that song. Is he sad? I can't tell if he's sad. We're friends now, right? Maybe. How about you throw it all up back into the bottle, but don't spill a drop. Okay, 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 I can do that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot to purse my lips. I'll go get another bottle and try again. <laughs> now look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Ugh. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Well, Peter, I don't think you can go any farther down the ladder than... Oh, so happy we found this. It's like when I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. That's it? Just a bunch of blueberries? Ah, two dogs humping! Ah, this was worth the four-hour flight. We take these robots out. You'd... you'd help me do that? Of course, Stewie. I'm your friend. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Brian. Okay, let's wrap it up. I reserved this time to listen to Metallica and flex in the mirror. He's right, it's on the whiteboard. And I wouldn't trade you in for anything. You know, I, uh... I think I still got a stain or two left inside me. Oh, I'll pay that. Yeah, I want to do you right where the porn lunch was. What? I said I want to do you right where the porn... Oh, boy, that was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time, Lois. Same with me. You know, I'm glad we're keeping our old mattress. Sometimes newer isn't better. Yeah. Are your privates itchy, too, or just mine? No, they're itchy. Maybe we should keep the new mattress. Way ahead of you, Lois. I already dragged the old one out to the curb. Good. Okay, I'm... Oh, man, I've been dying to see Maniac Pope, too. The first one was awesome. Is this one of those theaters where they bring your beef stew right to your seat? What? That's not a thing. Sure is. Don't get mad at me because you don't know nothing fancy. Off with the roasted potatoes. Right here. Thank you for seeing me, Your Excellency. Of course. What did you say your name was, my child? Lucy. You've been lucified! I found your cigarettes. That's all I'm gonna say. Morning, everybody. And the crisis continues. Oh, what, these? Come on. <laughs> Last thing I want is attention. <laughs> it's just that when you've read as many books as I have, it, it, it takes a toll, you know? You sure it's not from watching too much close-up porn on your phone? It's called Serial Killer. A serial killer who only kills people who eat cereal. Wait, what if, what if God is a serial killer? He lowers the average lifespan of humans to 65, but there are many exceptions based on genetics and diet. That's stupid. I ain't never heard of somebody lived to 65. Look, you know, I think the problem is this is a bar. Sun visors. Is that all you ever think about? And besides, Richie, aren't you worried about what the man on the radio was saying right now? Another dead teenage couple was found at Makeout Point, clawed beyond recognition. You see? There's a dangerous creature out there. Oh, what? You mean the big, rabid, slobbery cat what's been scratching people to death? We should write one of them zombie movies where a guy wakes up in a comfortable cotton hospital gown with the back open so there's a nice breeze on your behind, and he's like, this ain't bad. But then he notices the hospital's empty. Nurse, I'm ready for my sponge bath. Damn it, I guess it's a wiring issue. That's it? What the hell? When did a zombie show up? That's the thing. Their shuttle was late.
I, I don't know. I, I was thinking we'd write a movie where something that's not supposed to be scary becomes scary. Like an evil doll. Yeah, or, or like an evil bar of soap. <laughs> Ambassador Mombasa? Assistant Ambassador Armstrong? Everything okay up there with the bath? Ah! Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. It was him! It was the hook-handed killer! He locked us in! All the windows have bars on them. I think the only way out of here is through this duct system. Boy, it's loud in here, huh? <laughs> when they said Professor Griffin, I, I barely heard them. That's it. I'm putting an end to this. I'm gonna destroy those glasses if it's the last thing I do. You should really check out the Thanksgiving jazz CD they sell here. Are you okay? I think I may be paralyzed. I'm sorry, there's nobody here by that name. Wow, Stewie, thanks for taking me to the spa. Hey, you deserve it, buddy. So just relax. <laughs> Boy, you guys sure look steamed. This Family Guy joke was written by Jimmy Sullivan, age 9, of Decatur, Georgia. Thanks, Jimmy, and we'll pass along your gross request to Mila Kunis. Hookhand's name is Albert, and he's dressed like a janitor. Uh, I've been trying to help you. I'm the caretaker here. Uh, oh, we, we gotta report this. We gotta turn ourselves in. No way. If we do that, we'll all go to jail. And I'm a cop. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Hey, man, when you were a cop, did they, did they let you use the siren? Yeah, it's part of the job. That's so cool. Hey, hey, when you were a cop, when you were going to a crime scene, did you go chung chung like law and order? Wait a minute, is, is that... Is that his car? <laughs> oh crap, it's still alive! Oh, forget it. You'll just do it wrong. I'll wash it myself. Why don't you just go in the other room and relax? I'll call you when breakfast is ready. Okay. Oh, my God, Peter, come look at the newspaper. Janitor dead. <gasps> what? No! Right here, my college roommate, Jan Itta. She passed away yesterday. Heart attack. I won't say anything. I'll let you relax. They found a body of a war hero down by the old asylum. Okay, that has to be something. Uh, sorry, Peter. I'm just singing along with this old John Mellencamp song. They went up there to a move. Me to tell people, I don't know why. <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of freaking out about killing that guy. Anybody else have a hard time sleeping? No, but there's an old John Mellencamp song you're not gonna f believe. Wait, wait, what's all this stuff about you guys killing someone? What? I hate to frame you like this, Quagmire, but I gotta. I can't go to jail. They'll razz me good on account of my belly. Cleveland? This way I can dig the hole and just throw this in. But once you throw it in there, how are you gonna get the dirt back on top? Give me your shovel. You're gonna have to kill me first. Not with my shovel. That's brand new. Give me back my rattly plastic phone. Boy, that sucked. Yeah, I guess writing a movie isn't as easy as Joseph Gordon-Levitt makes it look. Hey, at least we gave it a shot. I just feel bad we killed an innocent man. Well, don't feel too bad. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a relief. 